right, welcome back guys. So we have another question from chapter four of Beam Johnson textbook and we have this beam and three different loadings on the beam. We need to determine the range of the distance A uh, for which the reaction at point B does not exceed 100 pounds downward and 200 pounds upward. So let's just start with the free body diagram and see what forces do we have. I'll just transferred everything from the figure above to our free body diagram. And we have a pin reaction at point D, which means we have both DX and DY. And we have a reaction at point B and a normal force. And let's just consider it upward for now. Let's just start with our equilibrium equation. So since we are in equilibrium, we know the sum of all forces in X and Y is equal to zero and same for the moment. So looking at the unknowns, we'll see that we have the most unknown at point D. Uh, although we know that the only X force that we have in here is DX. So we know that already dx is equal zero so we have the same number of unknowns at point d and b but let's just do the sum of all moments about point d that way we can get rid of d and we'll end up with b which is what we are looking for since we have uh, two numbers for b and we're going to use the 2D shortcut that we have for finding the moment. Let's start with the let's start with the 300 pounds force that we have in here. Obviously, we'll see that the moment about point D will be for that 300 force will be counterclockwise. So it will be a positive moment. And for finding the distance, what we are looking for is the this distance over in here. And we know from here to here we have eight. So if we want to find the distance, we'll have simply 8 minus A. And let's move on to the 50 pounds force. The 50 pounds force is making a clockwise moment. Uh, the moment will be negative. And the distance from C to D is what we have in here, which is 4 inches. And let's go to the other 300 pounds force in here. Uh, same moment, it will be clockwise, so negative sign. And let's figure out the distance. So what we are looking for is the distance from here to here. We need to figure that distance out. So the distance that we need to figure out here is this distance from here to here. And let's see how we can find that distance. So let's call the distance that the force 300 is applying E. So let's call this point E. And what we are trying to find is the distance DE, which we know is DC plus CE. So we know the distance DC is 4. So we have 4 plus CE. And if you want to find, and if you want to find CE, we know C is equal to AE minus AC, which is, so AE, we know it's 6 plus A for AE. And AC is simply 8 plus 4, which is 12. So in here, if you want to find DE, so this will be, so from here, CE will be 6 minus 12 plus A or A minus 6. And now that we have CE, we know our DE is 4 plus CE, which is A minus 6. And this will be A minus 2. So here our distance will be A minus 2. And we also have the moment of point, uh, the moment of the force B, which is 
counterclockwise so we have positive b and the distance will be simply uh, what we have from d to b which is 12 plus 4 which is 16 and that would be all for our moment equation so we have 16 b minus uh, 600 a if we cancel out uh, these two so we have minus 300 a here and another minus 300 a in here so we have minus 600 and we get 2800 for all the uh, numbers that we have in here so we can find a based on b so our a will be 16b plus 2800 divided by 600 so based on this we can find our so we have two conditions for b the first condition is when b is downward and when b is downward it will be in the opposite direction that we found here because we assume that b is upward so the first condition where we have uh, downward 100 pounds so our b will be minus 100 that negative sign counts for the downward direction which we need to consider so if if that's the case our a will be uh, 16 times minus 100 plus 2800 divided by 600 this would give us two inches and we have the second condition where b is upward and it will be 200 so this time we'll have a 16 times 200 plus 2800 divided by 600 and this would give us 10 inches so we found the minimum for a and the maximum for a in order to have those two 100 and 200 pounds force at a so that that would be our final answer here the minimum for a will be 2 inches and the maximum will be 10 inches. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.